2023 U.S.-China Relations Roadmap In 2023, Chinese officials face rising social, economic, and public health issues. If past is prologue, China's leaders will quiet its external environment to focus on domestic issues. They would seek to show their people that they are respected overseas to deflect criticism of their home government. Such symbolism will matter most in U.S.-China relations. China's leaders are generally judged by how they handle U.S. relations. In the coming year, the U.S. may be able to pursue specific affirmative initiatives with China despite the relationship's competitive nature. To be clear, there are no realistic signs of China easing its foreign policy toward the U.S. or accommodating American complaints about Chinese behavior. President Xi Jinping stressed in his 20th Party Congress work report that China must fight against Western hostility to its rise. At the Party Congress, other Chinese officials said battle will characterize foreign policy. Bet against tension reduction, China is anticipated to increase pressure on Taiwan and Hong Kong in the next year. Beijing will repress internal dissent. It will tightly control minority populated territories including Xinjiang, Tibet, and Inner Mongolia. Beijing would certainly increase its efforts to steal foreign intellectual property and advocate governmental interference in its economy. China will continue diplomatic activism. As it develops, the People's Liberation Army will increase its operations. China won't help America with North Korea. Xi will also invest in China's relationship with Putin and Russia. Washington will also take moves Beijing sees as increasing competition. Congressional leaders will visit Taiwan again. A Republican House will criticize China, especially COVID-19's origins. Republican presidential contenders will vie for China hawkishness. The Biden administration will support coalitional efforts to reinforce Asia-Pacific deterrence and constrain China's technical gains in national security-sensitive areas. However, Beijing may still value U.S.-Beijing peace. In the 1950s, Mao utilized fight, fight, talk, talk to gain time, study the opponent, and gather strength for a prolonged struggle. Beijing may be attempting something similar. Beijing might then focus on rebuilding governance competency. It would also hinder America's ability to establish issue-based coalitions against China. A calmer environment would help Xi get preferential treatment from U.S. President Joe Biden in November when he attends the APEC leaders meeting. To gain stability and popular favor for its leaders, Beijing will provide as little as feasible. China sees negotiating principles to guide the U.S.-China relationship as the next stage to achieving these goals. Xi has stated that mutual respect, benefit, and peaceful cohabitation should guide the partnership. Negotiating such principles benefits American diplomats nothing. Even if mutually adopted, they would not restrain Chinese behavior or resolve relationship tensions. U.S.-China relations, instead of reacting to Chinese efforts to negotiate partnership principles, the Biden administration should propose its year-ahead goals. In the first quarter of 2023, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken will travel to China to establish the agenda. Blinken may align the relationship with America's priorities by setting clear goals and milestones. China's focus on positive optics for Xi's November U.S. visit will allow form to influence substance. Both sides can reduce security risk. These include limiting new and growing technology uses in sensitive locations where no rules exist. Limiting AI-enabled autonomous weapon systems benefits both sides. First, both parties might agree that humans must make all nuclear launch choices and never delegate them to AI-enabled systems. Both sides have shown destructive ASAT weapons. They could limit ASAT weapon testing to reduce orbital debris. Future pandemics threaten both nations. They benefit from creating a global disease surveillance network to predict future viral epidemics. Climate change works similarly. Methane drives rising temperatures. To promote methane emission reduction research, both parties should collaborate. America's opioid crisis requires attention. China claims the issue is demand, not supply. However, U.S. and Chinese officials must think creatively about ways to prevent the flow of fentanyl with Chinese precursor chemicals into the U.S. This priority issues list is illustrative, not exhaustive. Limiting Iran's nuclear capabilities, maintaining unobstructed energy flows and food security, combating ocean pollution, and collaborating on developing world debt crises are other crucial areas where mutual self-interest should compel joint aims. The idea is that there are many instances where both sides may act in concert to benefit themselves. Is it worth the risk? Given the competitive nature of the relationship and the unlikely response to American ideas, skeptics will argue that pursuing a good agenda with China is pointless. Skepticism should be tested first. Such pessimism would have prevented America from persuading China to withhold materiel backing to Russia's invasion in Ukraine in 2022. It would have stopped Biden from eliciting Xi's resistance to Putin's nuclear threats. 
it would have prevented the Public Company Auditing Oversight Board from obtaining complete openness from Chinese regulators on the records of Chinese companies listed on American stock markets. Others caution that China will require issue linkage, i.e., that the U.S. reduce its pressure on China in other sensitive areas, before coordinating on common concerns. Such warnings suggest Washington should not compromise on Taiwan or Xinjiang for cooperation. This is old. The way to get past Chinese requests that the U.S. create favorable conditions for cooperation is to make clear that Washington is prepared for the relationship to improve or worsen depending on China's choices and that Washington would recognize Chinese contributions and welcome its leadership in addressing challenges. In exchange for U.S. priority contributions, China receives international recognition. Strategically, America's leaders are being pressured by their allies to responsibly compete with China. Thus, even if Beijing refuses to cooperate with America's beneficial goal, the world will be informed. This will allow America to collaborate with Asian partners. China's global challenges, the Biden administration will face several problems in the new year, including China. If it can place China within a set of global difficulties, the White House will be better equipped to manage its many issues, such as the pandemic, mass migration, global recession, global warming, Ukraine, food and energy shortages, and North Korea and Iran's nuclear ambitions. This does not mean appeasing China on sensitive topics like Taiwan, technology, or human rights. America must defend its interests and ideals with its closest allies. Instead, it means acknowledging that China is involved in most global issues. The US and China are in a long-term race to find the greatest governance model to tackle global problems and improve citizens' lives. Performance determines power. America is strongest when it improves its own situation and inspires global efforts to solve common problems, not when it competes with an ambitious but constrained.